Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I'm here at the Florida RV Show and I have for you the 2023 Barefoot by New Camp. Now this is made with a one piece fiberglass shell. It is totally awesome. Let's check it out. This is Julie with New Camp and so what can you tell me about this Barefoot? Oh, the Barefoot, we are so excited about the Barefoot. This is the first year that a production unit has been at a show. In previous years, you've seen, been able to take a look at the prototypes. prototypes right. But now you're seeing one of the units that's rolled off our production line. Awesome. So of course you're seeing it's curvy, it's chic, it's unique. There's nothing out there like it. So this unit actually came to us through Kathy Chamberlain, who created this product over in the UK. And we bought the rights to produce this unit over here. So it's taken us a couple years, but it's finally rolling off the production line. So what's unique about this? Unique, as with all New Camp products, it does have our Aldi system as well as the Nautilus system. Now our Aldi, system, our Aldi heating <laughs> has our hydronic heating system. So it's a quiet heat, very consistent, very nice throughout the unit. Nice. So when you step inside, it's very retro in terms of the seating. There's blue cushions with white piping, as well as has a very open and airy feel to it. Okay. So, asking what's unique about it. It's a one-piece fiberglass, fiberglass shell uh -huh. in a sea glass cover. It's very pretty. And for your power, it would basically, you just plug and play. So this would be perfect at those campgrounds for a glamping type set. Awesome, so no generator. No generator. All right, sounds great. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having us. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. It has a fresh water capacity of 23 gallons, gray water of 17 gallons, the cassette toilet holds 5 gallons. Now let's tour this barefoot. There's an opening window right here on the side. Down below there are two 110 outlets. Another opening window in the rear. Now this window can open up and you can reach inside and grab that interior shower head for an outdoor shower. Some handles right here to help maneuver this around and take a look at the clearance. You can see the stabilizers down there. A couple of opening windows right here. 30 amp connection. The cassette toilet area is over here and it is lockable. On the side of that 30 amp connection, there is a lockable area for your water connection. And down below is the sewer connection. In front here, you have a window. Another couple of handles that you can easily maneuver this around with. And this compartment here stores your propane tanks and your spare tire. Manual jack right here, seven pin connection. And take a look. All right, let's check out the interior. Now you'll see upon the entry, there is storage for some wine. There are three wine slots right there. Some light switches right here on the side for the exterior lights. And this is where the fire extinguisher is stored. Now I'm gonna step in and there is some storage right here. There's a little cubby on top and a wardrobe below with a hang rod. And this is where the tabletop is stored and the pedestal leg is stored right across from it. Below that cabinet, there is some more storage. All right, step on in and take a look. And this is what it looks like inside. Let's start with the bathroom, take a look. All right, so I'm gonna step in there and show you around. 
so starting on this back wall over here, there's some storage. Another area below. Toilet paper holder on the side and a cassette toilet down below. A good sized sink and a little holder for your toothbrush and toothpaste. There's a mirror in here, towel holder, and let's take a look at the shower head. It's handheld, has a start and stop switch for the water. There's an opening window in here also, and a little heater. Check out the door. Nice rolling door, no shower curtain needed. All right, so let's check out the kitchen. So here's your countertop space. Now both the sink and cooktop do have a cover, a glass cover. So this is a Dometic sink with a flip up faucet. And right beside it is a Dometic two burner cooktop. There's a big window that opens up right in front. It has this shade that you can pull up for privacy and a screen that you can pull down for those days when you want to keep the bugs out. And they attach to one another. Right on the side, there are three cubbies for additional storage. Now above that, there's a control center so you can monitor your tank levels and check your battery levels. And there's even the water pump switch. On the side here is the climate control and below that is the Aldi system cabinet above glass doors slide right across there's a power air vent right here in the center right underneath the cooktop there's some storage good amount of room in there on the side there's a drawer now the refrigerator is located right below. There's a shelf in there for some storage and a little freezer on top. And two bins in the door. Now right across there's some more storage, a little cubby area on top, and a little place that's good for storing some papers. Below, big storage area. some countertop space right here. And now let's check out the living area. As you can see, there's some storage on top. There's a couple of windows on each side. They do open up. Again, they have that pull-up shade for privacy and the pull-down book screen. There's some lights here that you can easily push on and off. A couple of USB ports right there. Curtain that you can slide across for privacy. Nice big window area in the back. Some more USB ports on this side. And I'm gonna show you over here. This is where your fantastic vent controller is stored. And down below there's a 12 volt, a 110 outlet. And there's another one on the opposite side, 110 outlet and a USB. Now, this is where the table can be set up. So I've put the table in place and check out the surface area. It's a pretty good size and you can access this tabletop from anywhere that you are sitting in this sofa area and it's adjustable. You can turn it to where you need it. And not only is this a great place for dining, but it's also a great workstation. There are two 110 outlets right below. And of course, if needed, the USB ports on the sides and the additional USB port and 110 outlets on the side of the kitchen area. Now this living area also transforms into a bed. Let me show you. So you simply pull these out on each side and then you just pull down on those sofa cushions. nice fastener to stay in place when they're in the sofa position. And there you go. Look at that bed space.
Pretty roomy and comfy back here. All right, I'm gonna put it back into a sofa. Get on in here and push this on in. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the all new 2023 New Camp Barefoot. Thanks for watching.